Merry Christmas Eve! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add new special waves in Frosty Editor for PVC GB2. First, open the level sandbox folder. Scroll down. Open level shop sandbox. Single click the Garden Ops folder. And open Garden Ops wave tree. Open the wave groups. And since I'm going to add a special wave to wave 4, I'll right click item 25. Hit insert after. Copy item 25, and paste it onto the new one. Open the new item. Change the node name to anything of your choice. I'm going to make it hodgepodge. And copy that node name. Then adjust the intro SID override to any name of your choice. Open the waves, open subgroups, open wave spawn type set, find the wave spawn type in the data explorer, right click it and select duplicate. Change the name to anything of your choice. Save the new asset. and assign it to the wave spawn type. Open your new wave spawn type. Open spawn datas and add as many items as you want. Find the first spawn data in the data explorer and assign spawn datas of your choice to the WST. If you'd like the first special wave subgroup to be the same as the second, copy the wave spawn type set. Open the second subgroup and paste it onto it. The next thing we got to do is go back to the garden ops folder and find the logic prefab blueprint that sets the special waves for wave four, which is this one. Open the objects, open the random multi events, and add an item to random event weight. Open the event connections, add new item. So open that new connection, set the source to the random multi event, and set the target to the interface. Set the source event to out 12. And for the target event, paste the node name you copied, but put start underscore before it. Copy this target event. And lastly, change the target type from invalid to server. Scroll up, open the interface, open output events, and a new event. Open that new item and paste what you just copied into there. For the last part of the tutorial, go to Garden Ops Wave Logic, open Event Connections, and you're going to scroll down for a while.
I'm going to right click connection 790 and hit insert after twice. Keep in mind this is for wave 4, so setting up for other waves will be a little different. Look at the previous two connections to find the right source and target. And set them as the source and target. Paste the text on your clipboard into the source event and to the target event and set the target type to server. The pool you target in the second connection will be different depending on the wave you're working with, so make sure you pick the right one. Yet again, set the source event to the text on your clipboard, and set the target event to set true. After you do that, change the target type to server, and now you're done. Which means we can save the project, and I'll call it new. Special Wave. Let's launch the game to see if our HodgePodge Special Wave works. Alright, Wave 4 is about to start. And there it is, HodgePodge. Oh, and there are some of the enemies I put in this. Special thanks to Loftoad08 for suggesting this tutorial. You've wanted this one for a while, so consider it my early Christmas gift to you. But anyways, thanks for watching, and have a happy holiday.